first, the writers went on strike, now actors and directors, and even a hotel staff? On this episode of The Politics of Hollyweird, we'll discuss what is causing the breakdown of Hollywood. Hi, I'm Kelly Ballard, host of this show, The Politics of Hollyweird, and national correspondent for Liberty Nation. Whether on or off screen, Hollywood can always be counted on to keep us entertained. This is especially true when it comes to politics. And that's what my show is about, shining the spotlight on Tinseltown's A-listers. First, it was the writers who decided to go on strike back in May, causing havoc and putting television shows and movies on hold. Now that the June 30th deadline to reach a compromise has been passed and an extension to mid-July has been agreed upon, actors are also talking about joining this protest. Throw the directors into the mix and you have a trifecta of guilds demanding better conditions and more money. But that's not all. Hotel workers are peeved and are striking as well. What or who is to blame and how much further will Hollywood break down? So who has joined the writer's strike and the Hollywood breakdown? Well, of course, we already know about the Writers Guild of America or WGA. Since May 2nd, They've been on strike with more than 11,000 professionals walking out. They demanded better pay and a higher share in the streaming services since most movies nowadays are not in the theaters near as long as they used to be and are released to streaming services such as Disney+. Plus. And then there's the Actors Guild of America, or AGA. They've been enlisted into the 4A, at first joining the creative picketers, but now threatening to go on strike too. More than 1,000 celebrities have pinned their name to a letter claiming they are ready to strike if an agreement isn't met soon, including such big names as Meryl Streep and Jennifer Lawrence. Like the writers, actors want higher pay to combat the cost of inflation and more money from the streaming services. And then we have the Directors Guild of America, or DGA. Not to be outmaneuvered by the writers or actors, the directors also want their fair cut, but they are the first to actually reach a tentative agreement. John Avnet, chair of the Guild's 80-member negotiations committee, said in a statement on the DGA's website, quote, we have concluded a truly historic deal, end of quote. If this agreement is ratified by the national board, the directors will receive higher pay for certain works, they'll have more time off, and then they're going to be including more diversity and inclusiveness, such as adding Juneteenth as a holiday. And then also more safety precautions, which includes the ban of live ammunition on set. So what do these three guilds have in common? Well, besides wanting more money, they're also adamant about restricting artificial intelligence, or AI. The Directors Guild potential agreement states that AI is not a person and that generative AI cannot replace the duties performed by members. To some, AI is a valid and serious threat in the entertainment industry. It's already been used in almost every aspect of movie making, such as de-aging actors, and even bringing back the voices of actors who have passed on. But you know, it's just not the guilds that are on strike or threatening to strike. Also, hotel staff started striking on July 2nd, right before the 4th of July holiday. This includes housekeepers, cooks, and dishwashers, which will seriously impact the availability and services of some of the area's top-notch hotels. Dubbed by The Hollywood Reporter as the largest such labor action in the hotel industry in modern U.S. history, the union includes about 15,000 members at more than 60 properties in L.A. and Orange Counties in California. Some of the hotels affected are the Chateau Marmont, Waldorf Astoria Beverly Hills, and the Beverly Hilton. Our members were devastated first by the pandemic and now by the greed of their bosses, said Local 11 co-president Kurt Peterson in a statement issued when the strike was called. The industry got bailouts while we got cuts. Now, the hotel negotiators decided to take a four-day holiday instead of negotiating. Shameful, Peterson said. 
Picketers started their protest on July 2nd. The JW Marriott, the Intercontinental, and Biltmore also housed guests visiting ongoing Anime Expo, which drew more than 100,000 attendees in 2022. So what do the employees want? They want an immediate $5 an hour raise with $3 bumps for the next three years for a total of 11 extra dollars an hour. Currently, uh, housekeepers earn $20 per hour, while dishwashers and cooks earn $22. That's it for this episode of Holly Weird. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to visit LibertyNation.com for more Holly Weird articles, original reporting and analysis, and videos and podcasts from our staff. Until next time. Don't get caught up in the media madness. Join our movement for free thinking and free speech at LibertyNation.com. Publishing news and analysis 24-7 with original articles by our team of authors who tell it like it is. Join us each week for online TV shows, The Uprising Podcast, and Liberty Nation Radio. We believe in free thinking and free speech. We are LibertyNation.com